Welcome to Yates Makes. Okay, you may have seen my previous video where I used damp paper to do a ballpoint emboss which then works really well as a transfer onto the gel plate. Great way of transferring your drawings. Now I loved this. I love this last experiment that I'm showing now particularly, but it doesn't really suit my kind of natural drawing style. So I've come up with this one and I'll talk you through how I've made this during this video, mainly seeking to discover if my emboss will pick up far more expressive, freer, more gestural drawing. So I went on a walk with my youngest. We were feeding the community horses, took a few photos. So I'm just sketching a quick composition from these photos. So just like with the last video, a quick pencil sketch on this heavy 300 GSM paper first. And once you've done your quick pencil sketch, you can then soak that in a tray of water for two or three minutes. Make sure that water's really got into the paper. Let it drip and then onto blotting with a tea towel, which is what you'll see me do now. Um, you just want to get all the damp off the surface and then straight in while it's damp with a ballpoint pen. I've been amazed how well over damp paper this kind of the Byros ballpoint pens work. Um, now, I'm really concentrating here on you know, varying the pressure, seeing if I can get a bit more subtlety, um, a bit more density in the lines with the drawing. As I've said before, you know, this damp paper allows you to draw without having to press really hard. You know, it allows you to be far more fluent and natural. Right, initial transfer. So um, I inked up in a blue. Um, mixed with a tiny bit of Payne's Grey, I think. Swirl that around. Um, nice, thin, well, fairly thin, even coat of paint. I'm using Amsterdam paint here. And, um, you know, while it's still wet, you don't want to hang around. Um, I think I've said this before in, you know, looking at various types of transfer, whether it's oil, pastel, resist, China graph, even down to laser copies, you want to be quick. So there is my... Um, embossed drawing you can see very faintly the emboss um, under the light there now rather than just use your fingertips or your palms I'd suggest using a flat surface just to kind of put a little pressure and swirl around just to make sure that all of your paper has made good contact with the plate now as you see when I pull this one up it didn't transfer great it was okay you know there's a few blotches um but those blotches you can you can pull off if you any unwanted stuff you can just pull off with a little pad of masking tape so there you go going with some quite bright colors those of you that have been following the channel for a while will know i love german expressionism so i'm trying to kind of in the spirit of franz mark and his absolutely wonderful kind of horse and animal paintings so there you go, first transfer done. Now, um, don't be alarmed, this is not like a, a levitating gel plate, this is just me slapping it on a window so then I can put a piece of paper and trace my main shapes. Um, because, as with my previous experiment in the last video, I just wanted to build up a bit of an underdrawing. So I'm using that trace transfer copy just to use my pro markers and have a bit of an underdrawing that I can then print over with um, some gel medium to get started. So here I'm just hand coloring the plate with the roller, a bit of orange in the background, and also um, with some brushes as well. Enjoying the process, yeah? This is essentially a sketchbook page. So um, having got this far, let all those layers dry completely and putting on some gel medium, which is what I'm gonna use to pull all of these layers and transfer onto my drawn background. So there you go, just kind of registering it roughly. Obviously this is a very expressive outcome, so it doesn't have to be precise in any way. Um, and there you go, that's kind of my first stage. I mean, you could just leave it at that, um, but I wanted to kind of continue, build up some more layers. So I went straight back in and transferred with um, some black, again using that initial embossed drawing it means you can just get so many prints well I mean at least five or six I reckon out of this so transferred that and then hand painted in red as you can see there using brushes using rollers um, just directly onto the plate so 
Um, a little experiment I tried next was to kind of use these swipes of like a buff, I think it's like a Naples yellowy green colour, just to partially pull areas of this. You know, in retrospect, I should have maybe added a bit more and tried to transfer a bit more of this as a layer, because you can see as I put it up, not much transferred, but you know, something in the bank for the future. But you know, I am achieving sort of successive layers here and it's encouraging me to keep going, keep pushing. Um, so again, back in with the pro markers to finish up and you know try and get a bit more of the drawing to come to the fore and you know straight in with some these are just like black drawing pens my pro marker pens having a scribble really um, the last stage was just to hand paint um, a little of that Naples yellowy green color um, into some areas just a bit of kind of textural variety really and a few different marks in there and you know what a fun sketchbook page really really kind of informative for my own kind of style of working loads of fun so encouraged by that and you know because i've got this embossed drawing that i can keep working with you know use for multiple prints here i am onto a second experiment again much like with the last one messing around transferring that that drawn layer hand painting sections having a bit of fun preparing a background and um yeah just enjoying the process You know, if you're one of these gel printers that loves drawing, maybe there's something in here for you. Um, you know, I'm going back, this is just a set of kind of, uh, I'm not even sure if they're permanent pens, um, but you know, you can just draw back in, enjoy your mark making, Probably going to ruin the tip of that one. Drawing into wet acrylic. Have to give it a wipe. Okay, my last experiment I want to share with you in this video was something a little different. A complete kind of rip off of Anthony Gormley, but a little bit of a nod to William Blake as well. And that is this one that's just scrolling past now. So, um, again, starting points are all the same. A quick kind of figurative sketch this time starting with pencil again on this 300 GSM smooth drawing paper soaked it in a water bath and damped it off blotted it with that tea towel make sure that the surface wasn't too wet for drawing on okay this time with the drawing I was again straight into that damp paper with a ballpoint pen. I have put some sheets of paper underneath um, a little board as well which is the back of a canvas board as well just to give me a bit of a cushion to draw into and again just like previously I'm drawing quite loose quite expressive fairly gestural here. Now the one thing I wanted to try in this experiment that was a little different to the previous ones was I wanted to introduce a collagraph. You can see my um, embossed from the rear side there see how deep it is so to do the collagraph while that paper was still damp I snipped him out with my craft knife uh, my scalpel and the intention here is to mount him up onto a separate drawn image so I've got two layers um, so that the collagraph is gonna act as um, a further way to transfer some tone so um, all I'm doing is outlining my um, little figure here that I've snipped out and I'm going to build up this time I've not soaked the paper so this is dry paper but again it's 300 GSM and I'm doing quite a graphic um, very linear design to go in the background 
fanning out from the figure to the margins of the page. So um, I'll zip through this next bit, you don't need to see it all, but yeah, I'm using the ruler and I'm pressing quite hard to make sure that is quite a deep emboss. Once that's done, I've just used a tiny bit of spray mount just to reposition, you could use Pritt Stick or PVA or whatever, just to position my figure over the background. Now, apologies, I totally forgot to film, but you can see that this transferred just fine and you can see the state of my two drawings, my two layers there. Um, and you can see that lovely kind of border of black you get around and that's created entirely by having the two layers, the color graph effectively. Okay, so from here on, um, you know, it's much the same as with the previous experiments, but probably a little more graphic. Um, so starting with this sort of dusty purple color that I've just mixed up here on my, my smaller gel plate, very useful tip. If you want to mix colors, you can mix them on a, if you're lucky enough to have a separate plate, you can uh, use it as a kind of palette if you like. So just blocking in, you can be quite crude um, um, if you've used this method because you've got that black kind of um, border running around your, your top layer. Um, you know, I can outline, if you like, this background without worrying too much about accuracy and edges etc so um, nice thin layer working quickly here because I wanted to try a quick technique spotting some water on which is a kind of technique that I've borrowed and adapted from Drew Steinbrecher's um, channel he does his wonderful little kind of uh, gel plate and collaged city inspired abstract pieces check his channel out it's great um, uh, so that purple has pretty much dried but obviously the wet droplets I've put on allows me just to pull up that paint it stops the drying process and creates this kind of nice little spectral kind of um I don't know you tell me what it looks like I've got no idea but I wanted just a little texture to play against the linear work in that background um, pulling this print with a wet layer so all of those layers I just let dry completely and I'm pulling this with a again that kind of a Naples yellowy green color which is um, you know a color I've just bought with uh, some of the the ad money that the um, channel made um, so thanks for enduring the ads by the way <laughs> it does pay me back um, and uh, yeah using this wet layer to pull the print completely Now you might be able to notice there, I've used a little frame um, over the top of, you know, a little rectangle window over the top of my um, printing surface, just to kind of keep my borders nice and even. Interestingly, I, I left this one to dry overnight after kind of smoothing it down, trying to make sure it made really good contact. I left this to dry overnight. And on this bottom edge that I'm just peeling up now, um, I think the frame just kept those bottom corners off the um, surface and you know it wasn't what I was intending but it kind of looked quite cool um, you know sometimes these accidents are informative sometimes not but you can see there pulling up the print um, annoyingly kind of ripped the, the little window stencil I've made but you know hey ho you win some you lose some it was very thin paper should probably have used slightly thicker more robust stuff but again look another kind of application if you like of this damp paper emboss I think is really versatile and very adaptable to kind of whatever you're into anyway there you go all right hope you enjoyed that one um, quick preview um, with the some of the money that the channel's now making and some kind donations that are coming in next video you can have a bit of an unboxing which i gather are quite popular on youtube um so we've got a few little goodies i've been shopping for um including a kind of mega gel plate and uh these kind of interesting little karen dash wax pencils that are going to be amazing i hope for resist work anyway um obviously if you enjoyed the video please support by subscribing share it around comment below
give me suggestions and I'll look forward to seeing you soon for another video. Ta-ta.